You ever got those friends that y'all always getting into it? Wishy washy. Next week, y'all best of friends, and the week after that, y'all get into another argument over some petty. Can't have that. It's, it's not smart. A real true friend, y'all gonna have very one, maybe no arguments at all. But these days, I feel like people want to be surrounded by a clique or a, a gang gang, as Chief Keith likes to say. So that's today's topic. A true friend versus a friend. <laughs> Another day, another do-rag. It's your boy Rob here with another do-rag confessions. Today we finna get into the topic of a true friend versus a friend. Now everybody wants to have a friend, right? Like you going out to a party and you know your homeboy's over here and you know you gotta have that friend to hold you up when you at the party twerking. Hey, she got a fat ass, right? You want that, don't you? And then, you know, the girls, you need a hype one. You did it, sis. You better get it, girl. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. That kind of girl, that's what y'all want, right? That's what everybody want, right? Now, that person that may do that may not genuinely be your friend. These days, there's not a lot of loyalty. And I can tell you that straight up. Loyalty... And this generation is at about a minimum or not at all. Here's to say this. Girls, they, they grimy. Like, heard it from their own mouths that if there's a dude that one of the girls is talking to and, the other, and a so-called friend sees it, once they're done, the girl will go after it. Like, they didn't even talk. What kind of mess is that? That's disrespectful. And vice versa. Vice versa. Now, guys and girls, it's a little different. And some people be like, it's not different. It ain't different. It's the same. Da -da 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 -da. Now, I know a lot of guys who would be like, Shh, that's my homeboy. Go ahead, get your thing. Now, girls, they'll duke it out or whatever. But you know what? I recant my statement. Yeah. Guys that go after a girl that they once talked to that they actually liked and they know how they feel about them still after the relationship, they gonna get upset. Yeah, because they really like them. Now, at the same time, too, you can't get upset at them because guess what? Y'all broke up and y'all was supposed to move on. Now, that's a whole discussion for another day. That's a discussion for another day. Now... What I've been told from past generations and from other people, and I see to believe it, is that you have one true friend, one or two true friends. Now, when we hit college, or let's let's go back to high school. When we hit high school, everybody's our friend. We're all new to the scene, and there are people who know each other from elementary school, so they got this little group of gang or whatever. But you start to meet other folks. You start to meet other people. You get to meet people... From your history class, your math class, your your, your English class, your, your theology class, if you had theology, if you know what theology is, your theology class. So y'all get together, y'all merge, and y'all start messing with each other. So now it's a big group of people, six, seven people. Now, within those six, seven people, y'all chilling. It's cool for like, what, maybe the first year? I don't even say a year. Let's say six months. The first six months. Now, after those first six months are up, people start talking bad about each other behind each other's backs. Now, where's the logic in that? Where's the logic in that? We're supposed to be boys. You know, that's my homie or that's my girl or whatever. Everybody's not going to be your friend. Everybody's not supposed to be your friend. Everybody is not obligated to be your friend. Sometimes in life, certain people are put into your life just to teach you a lesson for the time being. Maybe something that you've never seen before or something that you've never experienced. They're put there to teach you a certain lesson so that when you get older, you know how to avoid or you know how to deal with a certain situation like that. 
Now, there are people who do teach you situations that actually end up becoming your true best friend. But everybody is not obligated to be your friend. They're not. That's why there's people called associates. Associates are people that you just associate with. Like, you'll kick it with them or whatever, but you don't tell them a lot of stuff. Now, that comes to my other point about friends versus true friends. A true friend, if you tell them something that you don't want anybody else to know, they will not tell anybody else. Compared to a, a fake friend or a friend, if you tell them, you tell them not to tell, and they told Sally Lou and Billy Mac over here, they were never your friend. They were only out to get you. Why would you tell these people regardless if you feel like you trust them or not? Or you told them something that was very important to you and you just spilled the beans like it was nothing. Who would want that kind of friend like that? That makes no sense whatsoever. Now, if you continue on with a toxic relationship like that, then that's on you. You can't blame nobody else but yourself. Now, a true friend who sees that the relationship is toxic will step up and will be like, look, that person's not a good fit for you at all whatsoever. It's not. It's not a good fit for you because you're sitting over here. You're upset about something that's very important to you, but you just keep letting this person do the most to you all the time over and over and over and over again and you're still sitting here not doing anything about it, then there's something wrong. There's obviously something wrong. But hey, we just keep going along because guess what? There ain't no loyalty. So who cares, right? Who cares? And the worst part about it is the people that say that they don't have friends at all. I don't have no friends at all. I stay to myself. I don't have no friends at all. But y'all up on Snapchat and stuff, kicking it whatever with somebody and then somebody call you out for it and then you come up with some type of excuse like oh they just hit me up and i was like yeah i'm not gonna miss this party or whatever but you with them every day damn near or you're with them every weekend damn near so what's the pattern that i'm missing what am i missing what am i missing what am i missing i must be missing something to conclude this whole hoorah, everybody is not going to be your friend. Everybody's not obligated to be your friend. And I feel like, especially when we hit college, we're all in the same ball game together and we're all just trying to find a niche. And I get that. But the thing about it is, it gets real disrespectful when you start talking about other people behind their back. And it's happened multiple times. And there's a lot of other disrespectful stuff. And instead of the person going to the person that said it, they go to somebody else, talk a whole bunch of mess behind their back, or they go to another person, talk to them, talk about another person behind their back to someone else. And that person tells that person. So who can you really trust? You're all alone. You have no one else. So stop ruining a lot of relationships with a lot of good people just because you have something on your mind. Communication is key. Communication is key. Talk to somebody about a situation or a problem that you have with them. Instead of you sitting there talking behind their back about them, why don't you talk to them to get a clear understanding? That would be the whole ordeal. But hey, I ain't nobody. I'm just a dude that just wear do-rags, right? <laughs> I'm Rob. This is Durag Confessions. I just wanted y'all to see you. Yeah. I got a new Durag, the gold one. The other one's coming soon. Just know I'm coming with some straight fire. You better be ready, because I know I am.